Around 5500 BC, Polish farmers in a small town called Kujalwe experimented on making cheese using goat's milk. During the process, these farmers discovered that while the solids turned into cheese, its liquid byproduct could be used as a starter for making the next day's batch, marking the birth of today's whey protein. However, in modern times, whey protein has gained popularity, becoming synonymous with health and nutrition, earning its position as the top dog of fitness supplements. But how is whey protein actually made today? In making whey, the most essential ingredient is milk obtained from healthy cows on the lush green pastures of a dairy farm. Once obtained, this milk is transported from the dairy farm to a cheese manufacturing factory through tanker trucks. These milk tankers are equipped with a temperature-regulating system to preserve the milk, preventing spoilage and bacterial growth during transportation. Once at the cheese manufacturing facility, the milk undergoes a magical transformation. First off, it is heated, and then enzymes and bacterial cultures such as rennet, lactic acid bacteria, or a combination of both are added to coagulate the milk. Once the coagulation begins, the milk transforms into what's called a curd. A curd is a semi-solid mass containing approximately 20% whey and 80% casein, a combination of fats, proteins, and other solids from the milk, giving it a distinctive cottage cheese look. The coagulated milk then separates, revealing a portion known as liquid whey at the bottom of the tank and coagulated curds on top, which later will become cheese. The curds are then cut into smaller pieces and shaped into their desired form. The shaped cheese then enters a controlled environment where it is kept to ripen and develop its flavor and texture. At this stage of cheese making, the extracted liquid whey is collected and transported in liquid tankers to a whey processing plant. Here it may first be filtered to remove larger impurities and solid particles before undergoing a more advanced process called pasteurization to kill off any unwanted bacteria. Pasteurization The pasteurization involves heating the liquid whey in a heat exchanger to a high temperature, typically around 167 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat is maintained for an extended period to ensure all harmful and unwanted bacteria or pathogens have been entirely destroyed. Immediately after, the heated liquid whey is cooled using the same heat exchanger to a temperature of approximately 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent further microbial growth. The pasteurized milk then proceeds to its next stage. Purification and Filtration have you ever wondered why whey protein has a light milky flavor? Here's why. At the filtration stage, lactose, fats, and other impurities naturally found in milk are filtered and extracted, passing through two or more filtration stations before it is purified. The initial filtration stage involves passing the liquid whey through a mesh or coarse net-like equipment called a filter to remove larger particles and impurities. But to be further purified, the filtered liquid whey then proceeds to a more complex and precise cold temperature filtration process called ultrafiltration. In this stage, the filtered liquid whey is poured into specialized porous membranes designed with specific pore sizes to allow water, minerals, and smaller molecules to pass through while retaining the larger protein molecules and preserving its structure. Under carefully controlled pressures, the liquid whey then passes through the membranes, concentrating the whey proteins on one side of the membrane, creating a solution called rententate. On the opposite side are filtered leftover components, such as smaller molecules, water and lactose, known as permeate. Although no longer required for producing the whey, the permeate can be collected and used for other purposes. Meanwhile, in some cases, the factory may conduct an additional purification step like diafiltration to further purify the liquid whey. However, most factories often use the membrane method because it efficiently produces high-quality whey with lesser damage to the protein structure. Alternatively, another fascinating method may be used to filter the liquid whey by selectively isolating specific protein components using ion exchange technology. This method involves using ion exchange resins, which are permeable materials with a high surface area containing specific ions, including proteins, often referred to as exchange sites. As the liquid whey passes through these columns filled with ion exchange resin beads, 
it attracts the exchange sites and binds to the targeted proteins while leaving behind other components. Once the proteins are securely attached to the resin, they are then carefully released by adjusting the ionic levels of the surrounding solution, resulting in a protein-rich aluet. Nevertheless, when the retained liquid whey is filtered to pure protein pack perfection, the same end product is achieved, whichever method is employed. However, the next stage is where the magic truly happens, and our whey protein powder begins to take shape. Concentration and drying To further concentrate the Alouette liquid whey, specialized membranes with tinier pores are used. These ultra-filtration membranes allow smaller molecules and water to pass through, reducing the water content. Alternatively, an evaporation method may also be used to heat the liquid whey, leaving behind the concentrated whey solution and evaporating the water. The concentrated whey solution then advances to the drying stage, where all water content is removed using several drying methods. Most commonly, the drying chamber method is preferred. In this method, the retained whey is poured into a drying chamber, which is dried using a high-pressure hot air nozzle, evaporating the water and separating it from other solids. In other cases, a cold air method known as freeze drying is used to freeze the whey and sublimate ice directly into the water vapor under vacuum conditions, preserving the delicate protein structure. Some factories may also employ a drum drying method, where the retained whey is spread on a rotating heated drum until the solution evaporates, leaving only the dried whey particles on the drum surface. When the excess moisture is removed, the end product then becomes approximately 90% whey powder. Now, in raw powdered form, flavoring may be added to improve its bland milky taste into a more enticing and marketable one. The most popular flavors include chocolate and vanilla. However, the exact names usually depend on the manufacturer's secret blend. After the chosen flavor is perfected, the required measured quantity is then mixed into a vessel or tank with the raw powdered whey and blended to perfection. Once the homogenized blend is achieved, the whey protein powder is then placed in large moisture-resistant sacks and stored in temperature-controlled environments, ready for its next step. Packaging Inside the packaging facility, empty plastic containers are lined on a conveyor belt to undergo a thorough sanitation process. Each container is scrubbed and disinfected, ensuring they are in the perfect food-grade condition. As the bottles proceed down the line, a computerized machine fills each container with a specified amount of whey powder. Before departing the packaging line, each container is stamped with its corresponding label, giving a distinctive identity to each finished bottle. Final Laboratory Test Before you see the finished product in the stores, it goes through some special lab tests to ensure its quality. In the lab, a random bottle is selected and a state-of-the-art infrared machine is used to precisely measure protein, fat, carbohydrates, and amino acids. Additionally, the powder is compared to a controlled sample to assess its flavor, consistency, and color. Once the mixture has passed all these tests, the batch is ready to land on store shelves. So, next time you pop another scoop of whey protein powder, make sure to appreciate the efforts and intricate science involved in formulating this energizing blend. Until next time, stay curious and keep seeking knowledge, and subscribe to Made Mastery for more fascinating content.